hi guys you're welcome to this video in this video i'm going to be showing you firebase vulnerabilities and how to exploit them so firebase is a mobile and a web application platform that enables um, developers to to create and store their data on real time so when creating um, those database and um, those data Sometimes the developers forget to change a set of rules associated to the account, so that leads to um, sensitive information leakage. So I'm going to show you how those information can leak, and we're going to be using a CTF application for this demo. So this is my database account on Firebase, and the set of rules is set as false for read and write so if i go to this link under my data if i go to this link and try to read my data as a guest user i get a permission denied you can see message here so meaning i can't i don't have access to read those data so let me quickly show you how you can exploit those um, vulnerabilities if i change those set of rules to to true for read and true for write and i published it as my set of rules and i go back to enter you see my data are uh, exposed you can see the username and the password are exposed for public view so let's quickly sh do a demo on a mobile application how to get the project name the url and possibly the the name of the file type okay so we have um, so this is injured drug i've decompiled it and i have uh, all the files on my virtual studio code so the first thing we need to do is to go to our Android manifest file and read through the Android manifest file and see if there's any um, exposure of the Firebase URL. If we can't see any on the Android manifest file, so we have to navigate to string.xml. So under the string.xml, you have a whole lot of um, information here that you can use for your exploitation. So to look for the Firebase URL, so what you need to do is just to find it for um, not to waste much time. So here we have it here, this on line 81. So this is our... Firebase URL that we are going to exploit and um, and report the vulnerabilities. So uh, this is our injured droid, injured droid already installed on our application, on our mobile phone rather. Our injured Android application already installed on the emulator so we are going to solve the flag 9 this is the flag 9 the flag 9 the flag 9 is relating to the flag 9 is relating to firebase vulnerabilities so uh we need to submit our flag here and click submit to validate our flag for this application 
So what we need to do here is to copy this URL and go to and go to our web browser. So on our web browser, okay, we have so we don't have permission to read this file. Um, to read files on our Firebase account for this application. So, so this is my the, the compiled project of the injured Android application that I've already installed on my virtual emulator. So the first thing we need to do here is to go through the Android manifest.xml file and look through our Android manifest file and see if there are sensitive information relating to Firebase we can get here. So um, when we go through them one after the other, if it's not a bulky um, Android manifest file, or we can just search, you know, Firebase and read through the result that is returned on the console. So after that, if we don't get any useful information here, we can navigate to string.xml and uh, look through the string.xml. Definitely, you'll find the Firebase URL string, which is here on the line 81. So if I copy this, if I copy this URL of Firebase and um, paste it on the browser, so we have Okay, we have here, yeah, this is it. And um, we're getting permission denied. We can't read file this Firebase um, URL is not vulnerable for exploit. But we're going to do, uh, we're going to be digging deep to exploit. We're going to be looking through this application to see how we can exploit it. So how we're going to do that is by looking through our project here, the, the compiled project. And we're trying to solve this CTF challenge relating to Firebase, which is the flag 9. So um, under this flag 9, we have to submit our flag here and to get this flag it is the information we get from this URL from this Firebase database so how we're going to be doing that we're going to we're going to fuzzle through the directory to see if we can get a file name, a file name that has the information relating to our flag. So um, since we are looking for Firebase vulnerability for the flag 9 Firebase activity, we need to look for that activity on our Java files. So we can go through the Java files and look for flag 9. So we have flag 9. I've already opened flag 9 here. So when you go through the flag 9, um, pretty much of the information you get here might not um, be what we're going to use for um, exploiting that vulnerability. Because it's a CTF, so it's not going to be that easy. So, um, so what I did was I had to fuzzle through 
all the different activities and I got this information on the flag 8 login activity. So under the flag 8 login activity, I had to um, look through the code and I saw something. So this is what we are going to use to exploit that vulnerability. So this is database reference, child ref that is um, referencing a child directory, which is called AWS. So our child directory for the JSON file we're looking for is slash AWS. So when we've gotten that, we'll go to our browser so on our browser, we can now say AWX and we click enter. So this is our flag here, said cloud security, LOL, laugh out loud. So we can copy, we can copy this flag and paste it here and voila solve this challenge so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've learned something watch out for my next video if you've not subscribed to this channel this is your first time click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos and don't forget to like this video if you like the video give me a thumb up if you don't like the video you know what to do and I will expect the feedback from you. Can you leave a comment in the comment section below? Please share this video to your friends and your network if you like this video. And see you in my next video.